We spent some time and I gave you guys security and trust issues by proving that the derivatives for these functions um, are actually results which are not that hard to learn. And they tell some very useful things. So let's rehearse them very quickly. The derivative of sine is? Cos. The derivative of cos is? Negative sine. The derivative of tan is? Sex squared. Okay, excellent. Now therefore, <coughs> it follows directly on from that, that if you know the derivatives, that tells you about the integrals, right? From one, you can conclude the other, okay? So for instance, from that first one, what could I write? I could say since the derivative of sine is cos, if we go in reverse, the integral of cos with respect, we ought to expect to be? Sine. Now, by the way, I have written an indefinite integral, so plus my constant. Okay, good. Now, I could do the same kind of thing here, and I could say, well, therefore, the integral of negative sine is. But, you know, it makes more sense that we'd be expecting positive sine in here, but you can't just get rid of that negative. So what is that going to mean for the indefinite integral? It'll be negative cos, won't it? And when you go in the other way, the other direction, when you differentiate this, you get your negative sign and the negatives will cancel. Great. One last one, the integral of sec squared is equal to tan plus your constant. Okay, so nothing too dramatic, right? Now these are your basic results. <clears throat> Can I just warn you, right? Because you're learning these at the same time, like most people, now that you have both of these, it is so, so easy to confuse the two. Okay? You're like, but they're opposite processes. Yeah, I know. That's kind of exactly why. It happens worse with trig. Um, worst with trig, I should say. Um, because they flip back and forth. So it's very easy to, for instance, read, oh yeah, the integral of sine gives you cos. Because you're thinking of differentiating, right? But it's negative cos because of you're coming from here, really. So please be careful, particularly in these first few steps when you're doing your integration um, and it's new and all that kind of thing. Pay lots of attention to whether you're differentiating or integrating. Double check it as you write it. Okay. <laughs>